The math team at Greenwich High School is a lot more than just solving problems. So freshman year, you know, you kind of get to the high school and there are all these clubs that are yearning for members. Um, and so I came to the math team and I decided I really liked it. Um, and every year the captains are very distinguished. Um, and so for my year, I was very impressed by what was going on here. And I love it because I feel like it's one of the few academic clubs where you don't have as much of a competitive ambient. I feel like it's very cooperative. Uh, just because of the nature of the competitions, it's not as much about doing better than your teammates, it's about collectively doing well. And the six students in the club are working very well together, having just won their fifth consecutive Fairfield County Math League competition. In addition to their natural talent, the members attribute their success to their hard work. Well, we have practices every Monday and Thursday of each week, and during those practices we give out um, practice rounds for every meet, because every meet has a different topic. Um, based on like which meet it is, so we'll just drill um, the people in the math team and like give them a lot of practice questions, stuff like that. But they're very helpful. Uh, one competition's uh, the math that you learn from one competition is helpful for a different competition, so it all works together. Kirill, who is considered a math prodigy, learned he had a knack for the subject when he was in sixth grade. Now as a sophomore at the high school, he says he enjoys meeting and beating the older students he meets in competitions. I mean, it, it feels pretty good, I guess, but um, it's fun. I like enjoy spending time with everyone else at the competition and uh, the math team. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm kind of used to like being with older people, but it, uh, I enjoy it a lot. It's a really fun experience. The Math Cardinals are preparing to compete for the Connecticut State Math League Championship on March 31st. We feel reasonably prepared. I mean, we've we've done this for many years, and everyone here is it's not their first year. So I think that uh, obviously I can't say we're definitely going to win, but I think we've got a very good chance. If the team wins states again, it would be their sixth consecutive year as champions. In Greenwich, Sarah Mitchler, it's relevant.com.